Rocky Mountain Slayer on my Anstey's Wild Side. This will be the first run down this track on the bike. Still got the 400 spring in. Fork is at 102 psi, one token, 170 lyric. I reckon that it's a little bit too high in the travel there, so it's kind of closer to 15% sag. And I reckon two tokens and down to 20% sag should be the sweet spot with this 170 fork. So we'll try that uh, after this and see how we go. But for now, let's have a feel. I haven't ridden this track for a long time, but I do know where I'm going. So let's just see how it goes. I've got the front end actually quite high. It's at almost 1090. I put it down and now just recently put it back up to see how it feels because with it down I was feeling like I was reaching over the front a little bit much when I was tipping it into anything steeper Shock recommends two to five. Feels quite good. It is probably a little over sprung. But it's not terrible. I put my handlebars on it to improve the handling. The 785s are too wide. a touch high in the back hence why I have to run a high front end so the front's always governed by how high your bottom bracket is because it's still integrated it's not about how far away your hands are from the ground it's about the angle of your body position when you're sitting into your travel Oh, this is chopped up. Yeah, boy. I didn't even know where I was going then. So if I was to get this, the ride height a little lower in the back, that front end will have to come down. And to be honest, I'd like to be a bit lower because I'm quite tall at the front there. But if I go lower in the current setup, I'll be leaning over the front too much. I don't like that. So overall this whole thing is set up more like a full drive flight than a Ferrari race car. Drag! Chill out for this. So yeah, that feels really good, except for the ride height. So being this high on the bike means you're, you're higher up when you're tipping it over. So you want to get low for corners and low for pretty much everything. And uh, the ride height at the back, even though it's in the full slack position, because I'm only at 21, 22% sag, this 400 spring, it sits up tall. So it does feel relatively neutral. But like I said, I'd like to get the front end down and I can't take the front end down without taking the bottom bracket down. So, uh, yeah. All right, so this is Loop Tree Trail at Anstey's Hill. I'm a Slayer 29. So I've just dropped a run of wild side. But still, still not controlled, and I still wouldn't 
I wouldn't send it deep into some rocky stuff because I just wouldn't be able to control it. I wouldn't be able to hold on to it. The, the bike would be getting deflected too much. So, good momentum. You'd expect it being oversprung a little bit. But uh, I wouldn't say it's the momentum of the pole stamina. That thing was unreal. Hey guys. So, yeah, still a little bit firm at the back. Need a bit high on the right height. Dance around a little bit. And that fork, I definitely reckon got another token. And a little bit less pressure. It's just a little too high pressure and stout with the one token in there. which is taking my focus away from looking up the trail. So that's something to take, a, take note of if you're riding a bike that you haven't spent much time setting up. If you're wondering why some people are riding the section so much faster than you, it could well be because your bike's oversprung or, or over damped or... Yeah, it could be a combination of a few things, but in the end, it's certainly always paid to spend time setting your bike up correctly for compliance and efficiency so you don't want to be all the way down the scale of compliance to where it's not efficient at all but you also don't want to be all the way at the other end of the scale at efficiency with no compliance so you've got to find that happy medium that suits one your riding style and two the trails you're riding but anyway this thing feels capable but it's not set up right it's not i'd like a softer spring in the front uh, in the back sorry so i'm gonna mess with the front now but yeah that back spring i'd need a 350 which i just grabbed off a friend but it's too long it doesn't actually fit in the it's a longer stroke version so uh all good we'll, uh, we'll kick on 